When an online assignment in Moodle requires multiple teachers to be responsible for marking student submissions, you can use marking groups to divide the submitted student work between the markers available. This will ensure that each marker is given an appropriate number of submissions to mark and that they can filter the list of submissions when viewing so that they see only the ones they need. There are two ways you can allocate student submissions to markers within a module. The recommended process is to use the Groups functionality within the Participants section of the Moodle course to create marking groups and groupings. These groups can either be handpicked or automatically populated by Moodle on a randomised basis. See our video Creating Groups in Moodle for options. Once created, these groups and groupings can be easily linked to the relevant assignment. Alternatively, you can use the manual Allocate Markers option available from the grading table on the submission page itself. This is a more labour-intensive process, lacking the ability to automate or randomise marker allocation, which furthermore will need to be repeated from scratch for every new assignment, but it can be a useful bespoke method for small cohorts. To allocate student submissions using marking groups as recommended, go to the Participants section of the course and create a group for each marker, using their name in the group title. Divide all students between the marker groups you have created. This can be done randomly, which is the quickest method, or by assigning specific students to specific markers if preferred. Once your marker groups have been created in this way, you will then need to add them to a grouping to be able to link it to the assignment. Include the name of the assignment in the grouping title, for example, Dartmoor Essay Marking Groups. See our videos Creating Groups in Moodle and Group Submissions in Moodle for detailed guidance in these related processes. With these preparatory steps completed, you can now link your marking groups to the relevant assignment. Go to your assignment, click Edit, then Edit Settings. Scroll down to Common Module Settings near the bottom of the Assignment Settings page. Set the Group Mode field to Separate Groups. This will add a filter to the grading table for markers to be able to select their group and show their allocated student submissions. Set Grouping to the grouping containing the marker groups. Click Save. Your marking groups are now linked to this assignment. If you want to view the student submissions that have been allocated to you as a marker, you can now do so on the grading table by filtering the list of submissions to only your own marking group. On the course page, click the assignment name, then view all submissions. At the top of the page is a field for separate groups, along with the name of the grouping used to assign marking groups. This opens a drop-down list, which allows markers to select their own name. Click your name to filter the list of submissions to show just the ones allocated to you as a marker. The marker field on the grading table is only for manually allocated markers and does not show group allocations, so make sure to use the group selection method to view your allocated submissions. Depending on the structure of the module, it may be possible to reuse marking groups for multiple assignments. If this is the case, it is strongly recommended that a fresh grouping be created for every individual assignment, including the assignment's name and its title, to help keep track of marker assignments. As an alternative method to marking groups, it is also possible to allocate student submissions to markers from within the grading table on the submission page. This can work adequately for smaller cohorts. However, we do not normally recommend it, and manual allocation must not be used in combination with group allocation, as conflicts can occur. The aforementioned marking groups method is a much more robust and efficient approach. If you do wish to allocate markers manually, go to the grading table, then click View All Submissions. Tick the checkbox next to each student's name to select the students to be allocated to a marker. Open the With Selected drop-down menu below the submissions and choose Set Allocated Marker, then click Go. Choose the relevant marker from the drop-down list of allocated markers' names. The name of the marker will now show in the marker column on the grading table. 